In this digital pH meter review, we're going to be talking about the, the Ryzentech di digital pH meter because I believe it has a function that is different than the other meters out there and it's the reason I like it the best and it's the automatic calibration function or the push button function if you will, push button calibration. So that's what I'm going to demonstrate here. As you can see in front of you, I have the meter itself and then I have the two calibration powders that I've mixed into these two glasses. Each glass contains its respective powder, the 6.8 calibration, the 6.86, and the 4.0 calibration solution uh, mixed in 250 milliliters of distilled water, which is what this bottle or gallon jug is back here. This glass is simply filled with distilled water so I can clean the probe uh, between inserting the probe into each one of these respectively. So let's demonstrate how easily this happens. So we're simply going to remove the protective cap, turn it on, we're going to insert the probe into the 6.8 solution, press the calibration button, hold it for three seconds, and allow it to start to flash. It'll flash at 6.86, and once it stops flashing, there it is, it stopped at 6.87, which is absolutely fine. I'm going to rinse it off in the distilled water, dry it off a little bit, then simply put it back into the 4.0 solution. And again, I'm going to press the calibration button for three seconds, release, and then press it one more time and it'll start to flash at 4.0. When it stops flashing, it'll be completely calibrated. And there it stopped. It stopped at 3.99, as you could probably see. And I'm simply going to rinse it off and it's completely done. It's that simple to calibrate. If you want to test it, you can simply put it back into the 6.86 solution without pressing any buttons and see what it reads. So we'll do that. We'll just stick it back into the, uh, into the solution here and let, it, let the reading hold. And as you can see, it's reading 6.86. It's perfectly calibrated. It's that simple. It doesn't require a screwdriver. It doesn't require any tools at all, and it's completely one-hand push-button easy. That's the reason I like the Ryzentech digital pH meter. So we're simply going to turn it off, replace its protective cap, and we're done. That simple.